This video will explain how to file an annual report for a for-profit corporation with the Division of Business Services. First, go to sos.tn.gov. Hover over Business Services and go down to Business Entity Filings, where you can select your organization type. Select For-Profit Corporations. This brings you to a page of online services which includes File an Annual Report. Click on it. This page explains what entities can file annual reports, how to file, and what you need to file. Click Start Now when you're ready. First, you'll need your Secretary of State control number. This unique number is how the Division of Business Services tracks entities across the state. You can find this number on your annual report filing courtesy reminder. Enter it and click Begin. The next screen confirms you are filing an annual report for the correct entity. If it's right, click Continue or Cancel to start over. On the first tab, you have the option to correct any errors with your principal office address. If everything is correct, click Continue. The next tab allows you to update the entity's mailing address. It may be the same as the principal office address or different, such as a P.O. box. When you're done, click Continue. The next tab shows you the name and address of the entity's registered agent. By state law, this must be a physical address in the state of Tennessee and not a P.O. box. To make changes, check this box. Keep in mind, any changes to agent details will result in an additional $20 fee. You can select the registered agent to be an individual or a registered organization that must be in good standing with the state of Tennessee. An organization must have a Secretary of State control number. If the information is correct or has been updated, click Continue. Next, you must provide the name and business address of all principal officers. You can add or edit the person's title, name, and business address. At least one officer is required for every for-profit corporation. When you are done, click Continue. The next tab allows a for-profit corporation to specify its board of directors. Notice you can check either board of directors is the same as the officers listed, or this corporation meets the requirements of TCA 4818101C and does not have a board of directors if they apply. Otherwise, you can add or edit the person's title, name, and business address. When you are finished, click Continue. Next, the Confirmation tab will show you all the progress so far to ensure your entity's information is correct. Note, you see the total fee for filing online broken down into the Annual Report fee and the Online Service fee. If you do not wish to file online to avoid the service fee, there will be a free Print and Mail option on the Payment tab. If everything is correct, click Continue. You're almost done. This signature tab requires you to certify you understand you are filing a report with the Secretary of State, are authorized to submit the report for the entity, this electronic submission constitutes your digital signature, the information is correct, and you understand any fraudulent information may subject the company to being administratively dissolved or even criminal prosecution. Check I Certify and fill in all the required information, then click Continue. Finally, the Payment tab will allow you to file and pay for your annual report online using a credit card, debit card, or e-check. You may also choose to print the annual report to be mailed in with a paper check. To print the report and avoid the online service fee, click Print This Annual Report, which will generate a PDF that you can print or save to your computer. To file online, click Continue with Online Payment. Then you can select your payment type, enter your credit or debit card information, or you can pay with an e-check. Enter your billing information, and then click Continue. Next, you can review your payment and billing information before clicking Process Payment. Congratulations! You've just filed an annual report which will help keep your organization active and in good standing with the Division of Business Services.